Glug, 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 glug. Welcome back, boys, girls, and folks. Honey Collentine here with another Teen Pop Sensation review. Hold on to your handbag, because this one's a quickie. Big Hoss. Despite being the song that this album was named after, it's a little too big for my taste. The beat's kind of cool and trippy, but the lyrics are just repetitive, like many others in the album. However, this does fairly accurately portray the rest of the album. Inconsistent, repetitive, and mediocre but funky and funny. Overall score, 5 out of 10. Corey Harris, actually. <sighs> Corey Harrison. Funky and catchy, but the part at the end is kind of weird. It's like they tried to do that cool thing where the two people sing different parts at once and it meshes together really well, but it's just the same part delayed by a syllable. Despite the end of the rest of the song is cool and a little spooky, just in time for the weaning of hallows. It's one of those songs you can't help but nod your foot or tap your head to. 7 out of 10. Shrimp Dinner. A truly a brilliant concept, but poor execution. Forgettable. Rock Candy. The best one by far. It too has a fairly funky, fresh beat. And it's just a funny song. This album needed more rock candy, but it seems like they just ran out of rocks. The part at the end makes me laugh every time I hear it. 8 out of 10. You have no idea what you're up against. Pretty much you have no idea what a song is if you like this. It's just kind of stupid, but the title's funny, and it's kind of spooky. One out of ten. In conclusion, this album was somewhat disappointing. I heard rumors of new songs and albums, and was not expecting a drop in quality from the first album. But unfortunately, there was a drop. It's still funny though, and I'm glad to hear they're making more albums other than Life of Pedro. The overall score for the album is... 5 out of 10. Some good, some bad. No merch.